If you use this visitor statement, you will get fewer applications. <laughs> Uh, for those of you that were here last month, I did a slightly controversial education slot on how you can invite visitors, you're laughing, to B&I. And it's all the tips that B&I will not teach you, but boy do they bloody work. Now I know B&I Roman has already implemented one of those techniques. The rest of you I'm not so sure, because I'm not checking up on you, I'm not your school teacher. But it's up to you whether you do those or not, but they will help you grow your chapter. But what is the point in getting people in the room if they don't become members? What's the point in having loads of visitors turn up if you don't do anything with them? Now a year, maybe year and a half or so ago, we had a big problem at Chester. We had a spell of about two months where we had lots of visitors come in and none of them were joining because all of the visitor feedback forms were taken away by someone, put on the front seat of their van and then ignored. Nothing was happening. Now, as Neil would tell you, if you want something to work in terms of getting sales, it's all about conversions. And getting visitors into a BNI and getting them to apply is a marketing funnel. It's a simple marketing funnel. The visitors are the leads. The application, when they come into the room, is the conversion. Now, I'm going to read something to you. We are glad you took the time to be with us here today. If you are looking to grow your business, we can help. After today's meeting, we will share how you can apply for membership, which is a three-step process. Step one is you attend a meeting. Step two is you complete a membership application. And step three is that application is considered by the membership committee. The application fee is £299 plus VAT. And the participation fee is £899 plus VAT for a one-year membership. Or you can take advantage of a significant saving by paying £1,399 plus VAT for a two-year membership. The only other fee associated with membership is to this chapter is a monthly meeting fee of £65, which is paid by standing order on the first of each month. Within one week, you'll be notified with the status of your application. If you have any questions, they will be answered at the visitor orientation, which will take place after the meeting and will be, will be conducted by Chris and Danya. Who's heard that before? Yeah. yeah? Does it get read out in your BNI chapter? No. No? Yes? That's Waterways. Who said no? That's Roman says no. Chester Bridge? Yes, because yes, I read it now. Yes? At Chester Bridge, Grosvenor? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's what I think of that. Because that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Now, I tried Googling that for that exact script. You can't find it. It's not an official BNI script. It just seems to have been adopted in this region and carried through from chapter to chapter and continually used. Now, if you keep doing what you've always done, you'll keep getting what you've always got. And the results don't work. Now, there are three things you need a visitor to feel when they're in the room for them to want to apply. And all three of those things are essential, and they need to be in the right order. That visitor statement has none of them. The first one is desire. They need to feel desire to join your group. If they don't feel desire, they're never going to join. The second one is scarcity. They need to feel if they don't join, somebody else is going to take their place and they won't be able to come back. And the third one is urgency. They need to know they need to do it now. If they don't do it now, they're going to miss out. Now, I'm not talking to you from a point of at Chester, we've got all this nailed and everything's running perfectly. It's not. We still need to work on the urgency. We still need to work on that. Well, let's go through those three things first of all. Scarcity. Let's take the middle one. That's nice and easy. Scarcity at B&I is simple. 
we're one member per category. If you've got a space for a mortgage broker in your room and there's two mortgage brokers visiting, only one of them can join. It is genuine, believable, real scarcity. Often if you go to an event where somebody is selling something from a stage, they'll make up scarcity. They'll say, I've only got three places available, which is often a load of crap. But at BNI, it's genuine. There is only one place available. Scarcity simple. But the visitor needs to feel that and needs to understand it. And they're only going to feel it and understand it if you bring it up during the meeting. If you bring it up during your visitor statement, it's a bit late. And you can do that from the opening statement from the president. You can do that within the 60 seconds. You can do that when you introduce the substitutes and the visitors. Scarcity can be threaded throughout the meeting very easily. Which brings me on to urgency. Why do they need to apply now? I've been to a lot of BNI meetings where that statement is read out. Somebody has a chat after the meeting in the visitor orientation. I'm going to come on to that phrase in a moment. And they don't apply. Because they don't have to apply. They can go away and think about it. Somebody says to them, oh, you can come back next week if you want for a second visit. Where's the urgency in that? Or worse, another member will go up to them as a new visitor and say, can you sub for me next week? There's your urgency gone right out the window. Because they're never going to apply because they're coming back next week anyway for free. They need to know that they need to apply then. And I'll show you what we do in a few moments for our visitor statement, which brings in the urgency. But the desire is the most important thing. You can have scarcity and you can have urgency, but without desire, it's a complete waste of time. Because if they don't want to join, they're not going to join. Now, how do you bring in desire? Well, one of the obvious things is contributions within your chapter, business. Loads of referrals being passed, loads of thank business being passed, which you could be mentioning all throughout the meeting, not just in the contribution section. Now, some chapters have a lot of thank business, like Roman. Some don't have as much. But if you don't have as much, you can still bring in desire, because BNI has other elements that aren't just about the business. There's the support, like Tony's got for years in BNI, when he switched businesses. You can bring in stories such as that into your meeting. There's the camaraderie, there's the social aspect. There's the fact that if you're business owners and you work on your own, you don't get that stir crazy stuff because you get to see people every week to help you. You get that free advice from solicitors, free advice from accountants. I've constantly tapped up solicitors in my BNI for advice. Many of them were yours, but you know, that's fine. But there is one big problem with the desire. And that's when a visitor is sat there and they have objections. Objections to joining BNI. It's a shout out. Who can think of an objection that you've, you've heard? The regularity of the meetings. So weekly. I can't commit to every week. It's yeah. I can't commit to every week because I've got stuff on. Sometimes I'll be needed at a client meeting. Sometimes I've got to do something I can't do every week. Too early. If they say it's too early, they're there in the first place. So they've made it once. Yeah. But Kids up at school, yeah. The bonkers one is cost. Cost, it's too expensive, yep. It's too expensive. If that first year can cost you, if you pay back yourself, because you're not registered, in the region of about £1,800. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Tried it before it didn't work. Tried it before and it didn't work. Two corporate. Two corporate. If your meeting is run in a very corporate, slide-heavy way, then it can be a very corporate, absolutely. It's a cult, yep. You read out that visitor statement and it will sound like a cult. Yep. Another one is my clients aren't in the room. I can't have any of you guys as my clients. I'm looking at blue chip companies, you're not in the room. What if I told you every single one of these objections was exactly the same? Every single one is exactly the same. And it's that you haven't conveyed the value of the meeting. Every single one. It's too expensive. That means they've not seen the value of the return they're going to get. I can't commit to every week. That means they've not seen the value of coming every week. I got 120k through BNI so far this year. Our target was 100. I'd turn up for that every week, or I'd make sure I sent one of my team for it. It's too early. 
What else are you going to do at that time in the morning if you convey the value of the meeting? It's too corporate. It's corporate because it, get, it works. It gets you the referrals that you want. All of those are about conveying the value of B&I. And you need to do that throughout your meeting. And what that visitor statement does is none of that. It tells you the price and it tells you the process. Neither of those things are important. There's no benefits. There's no benefits, no. It just talks about price without value. Cost without value. And if you tell someone the cost without the value, all they'll see is the cost. And it's never going to work. Would you like to know what our visitor statement is? Some of you will have heard it because you'll have been subbing. Many of you can't. Our visitor statement isn't written down, so I can't pass it to you. It changes each month, each week, depending on who is in the room. And it addresses the objections that people have, which is an important point, actually. Those objections I mentioned, when should you address those? Throughout the meeting. Throughout the meeting. There are people that are of the opinion that you shouldn't raise objections because if you raise objections, people will think about them. It's going to put blocks in the way of them joining. No. Some people think you should do it in visitor orientation. It's too late then. It's too late. You need to do it throughout the meeting. As an example, when you're introducing substitutes, it's an opportunity for you to say that you don't have to be here every week. We have members in the room that are not here today because they sent the substitute. That address is in people's minds. I don't have to be here every week. It's not that much of a commitment. I can make it work. As you're talking about the returns people are getting, you're addressing the cost issue before you even mention how much it is. They can see the returns people are getting. They know it works. So when they eventually find out the price, it doesn't matter because they know it's going to work. So here's our visitor statement, which addresses big issues about urgency as well. And I'm going to use Richard, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use Richard, because I know he can take it. Richard, thanks for coming along to the meeting today. I hope you've seen why we all get up at this ridiculous time of the morning to come to BNI. There's lots of other networking opportunities you can do out there, many of them at more civilized hours than this. But they're not about building relationships. They're about going there and chucking your business cards out and claiming as many cards as you possibly can. You'll probably never see any of those people again. We've got people in this room that I've known for 10, 12 years. Uh, I've got Dave Tilston. I can just give him the keys to my property that I'm renovating right now. And I know he'll go in and do a good job because I've known him for years. I know he's going to do what I want him to do. So this is definitely something that can work for you. But there's two things I want you to consider as well. You can apply today but it doesn't actually cost you anything if you apply. Because the application, you don't pay. You don't pay the application until you make the decision to join. So it doesn't cost you anything to apply today. But if you do apply today, you lock out your competitors from coming along next week and applying. If you leave it till next week to have a think about it, then we can have other financial advisors come along next week. And then we'd have to pick which one was the best fit to the chapter. So applying today is completely free, and it locks out your competitors. But there's two things I want to tell you as well. This has happened to us before. We've got two members in the room right now. We've got Phil, the videographer, and we've got Tom, the graphic designer. Neither of those were the first people to come in their categories to visit this chapter. We had a lady graphic designer called Kritika who came before Tom. She wanted to apply, but she wanted to do it after her holidays. And then three weeks later, she wanted to come back. Unfortunately, Tom had been since her. He'd applied and he joined. Phil also wasn't the first one. We had Daniel who came the week before. He never wanted to make a decision on the day. He said, I'd like to go away and think about it. And then two days later, he wanted to apply, but it was too late because the next meeting had started. Phil came along. They both had their applications going the same day, and we picked the video for that we wanted. I wouldn't want that to happen to you. So if you are thinking this is the right decision for you, then please apply today because you're not committing, and it doesn't cost you anything, and you'll prevent anyone else from coming along next week. So after the meeting, have a chat with one of the members next to you. And they will answer any questions that you've got about BNI. OK? Thank you. That is a visitor statement. I didn't mention visitor orientation, which is the most culty, indoctrinating phrase you could possibly have. It's like you're in a clockwork orange and you're Malcolm McDowell and you're having your eyes pierced open while you're having 
BNI blazoned into you to make you want to join. That just makes people want to run away. I don't have the words visitor statement on the screen behind me, which again, it's almost like something out of an Orwell book. If you use this visitor statement, you will get fewer applications. If you do it the natural way I've suggested, you will get more. B and I will hate me for saying that, but that's the way it is. <laughs>